Welcome to, re to Reading with Robots. I'm Nathan, a member of Wave Robotics, the first robotics team from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Today I'm reading with Pollux, the robot we built for the 2019 deep space season. Today's book is Monkey with a Tool Belt, A Noisy Problem by Chris Minero. Aruga Boom, Clang Clang. Early one morning, Chico Bon Bon awoke to a loud noise in his treehouse. What could that be, he wondered, as he jumped out of bed and strained his tool belt, Arugaboom, Arugaboom, clang clang. Some of Chico's tools, a chopper, a tacker, a quacker, a snicker snacker, a razzler, a twizzler, a lid lifter, and a hook on a stick. He had every tool a monkey would ever need. Arugaboom, clang clang. There it was again. It must be the wind, Chico thought. A strong wind was blowing through his bedroom window. He shut the window and pulled his screwdriver from his tool belt to reattach the curtain rod that had blown off the wall. The wind can be very loud sometimes, he said to himself. Chico heard the noise 17 times during breakfast. I'm not sure that it is the wind after all. Chico decided to investigate. He took his hear, out, hear a lot tool from his belt and put it up to the wall. He checked the bread box. He peeked in the hamper. A rooga boom, boom, clang, clang. He pried up the floorboards with a snozzle and a clamper. He climbed up the pole. He dove into the pool. He looked under the stairs with a stair staring tool, but he couldn't find the noise. Chico sat on the steps to think. Was a woodpecker family playing a trick on him? Was someone chopping his tree into firewood? Were there bats in the belfry? Was it a monster? Had a family of very loud squirrels moved in? Had spacecraft landed on, landed on the roof? Was there a termite problem? This could be very serious, Chico thought. He put on his safety goggles and continued the hunt. He searched everywhere, but Chico couldn't use his tools to fix a noisy problem because he couldn't find the noisy problem. Chico stopped in the hallway and took his hanky from his tool belt. He wiped off his face. He'd gotten very dirty while searching, especially when he went up the chimney. He opened the laundry door chute just as he was dropping in his hangy. He, the noise echoed up the chute. Aruga boom, boom, clang, clang. Chico rubbed his ears. I think I found the noise, he said. He plugged in he, his earbuds into his ears and put on his hard hat. Then he bravely peered into the chute. It was very dark. Chico shone his 1000 watt flashlight down the hole, but all he could see was his hanky, a pair of shorts, and a beach towel jammed in the chute. Something was stuck in there. As you go down to the laundry room and look up, thought Chico, which is what he did. And this is what he saw. An elephant clogging his laundry chute. The elephant wiggled and kicked his feet. Aruga boom boom, clang. What are you doing up there? I'm stuck. My name's Clark. Boom, clang, clang. I must have wandered into this wrong tree house last night in the dark. I thought this was Elsa's tree house. Oh, Elsa lives down the street, two trees down. Her treehouse does look a lot like mine. Yes, all the, I don't believe she has a laundry chute. I'll have to build her one, thought Chico, but for now he's set to work to get Clark out. He measured the distance to Clark with his tape measure. Using his pencil, he divided by two. He made three cuts in the edge of the chute with his three cut saw. 
He sanded the inside of the chute with a silver stopper sander. He thought about using his extra large grease gun to squirt grease around Bill Clark's edges, but changed his mind. Too messy, he thought. I might get it all over my laundry. He decided to go with plan B. He went to his kitchen and came back with 12 bananas. He, pe he began peeling and eating them one by one. Clark smelled the bananas. Are you taking a banana break? Chico, Chico put his banana peels into his newly built banana cannon and shot them up the chute. It's a part of my plan. Then he used his edger, edge wedger to wedge the slippery peels around Clark's edges. Finally, he attached a sticky wedge to Clark's foot and pulled it with all his might. He pulled and pulled and suddenly, Ha! Clark broke free and slid down the chute, landing with a giant thud on his laundry pile. Thank you, said Clark. That was really uncomfortable, also very loud. Yes, said Chico. It really was. Chico wanted to ask Clark exactly how he had gotten into the laundry chute, but he thought that it might be rude. Would you like to have some lunch? And Clark said, yes, please. So they sat down to a peanut butter banana feast. Good thing you have that tool belt, said Clark. Yes, said Chico. It's very handy. Do they come in my size? Why, yes, they do. I can help you with that. And he did. Versus opportunities for all learners of all ages to engage in robotic activities from kindergarten through high school. For more information, visit firstinspires.org. Thanks for joining us on Reading with Robots.